Hello there, sword friends. This is a sword log vlog vlog type thing, and I just want to give a couple thoughts on Dragon King katanas. Some time ago, I got this here, Dragon King Sakura, a spring Sakura, spring cherry blossom katana, and I did a review on it, and uh, and yeah, and so I gave some thoughts on that one. I'll put a link in the description below. The thing is, Dragon King offers a lot of different sword products, and frankly, Having one example and only one point of reference isn't a whole lot of depth or experience to see how they vary from model to model or just to look at some of the other stuff that they have. So as it happens, I now have two of them. Now this isn't because Robert at Shinto Kaibatado got two of them and I had to have two of them because he's my secret idol. It's more because it just worked out that way. And there are some points that I can note about the contrast between two of the same blades. So one, in terms of this little smudge bit, I noted this on my original review that it came with a smudge. And here is a second one. Now bear in mind that this second one is also second hand, I didn't buy it new. But the smudge is in kind of the same place. There's some glue along the knot area on the Ito. Uh, not exactly my favorite. Both of them are overall very tight. They don't rattle as I wiggle the sayas around. Uh, the subas don't wiggle around, and the fact that they're second hand and they haven't developed any of those rattles is a good thing. The Edos are also serviceably tight. I mean, they could be a little bit tighter, but overall I would say that this is among the better in terms of tightness. Thematically, in terms of the Sakura Suba, I'm not noticing any differences in terms of the casting quality across the two. Now, I don't exactly know how new or old this, this Suba is, and I'm guessing it's cast, not carved, given the price point. Uh, but I'm not noticing really any variations between the two. And in terms of mounting quality, they seem pretty much the same. All the failings that I saw in this first one, I kind of see in the second one, in terms of little transitions that don't line up, little smudges, things like that. Also, all the pros seem to be pretty consistent as well. There's no rattling, nothing like that. But anyway, let's talk about the pointy-pointy stabby part. If I put the two swords next to each other, you can see there's... Maybe the slightest variation in terms of shape and length, but not really substantially. Also, in terms of how they feel in my hands, dynamically, they have very, very similar feelings. So I have to commend the sense of, well, consistency that I get across the board. As I look at the distal taper, it looks very, very similar. The shaping looks very, very similar. Um, and it leaves, I mean, they're, they're, they're different, but not in a very profound, consistent, or really not consistent. They are very consistent as I suppose what I'm driving at. The point is that as I feel them both in my hand, they feel as, about as close to mirror images as handmade objects can be. Now, again, you know, if, if there's, if somebody takes something to a grinder and there's an ounce of difference between, you know, there's an ounce more on the tip on this one and an ounce more on the base on this one, uh, it'll provide some pretty different feelings. So the fact that they feel as similar as they do is, is really um, a mark of consistency. So tip of my hat there. I tip my hat, but I don't have a hat on and I'm holding a sword. Now in terms of the Yakote, they both have pretty much the same kind of flaws. Uh, you know, very, very simple polish, nothing special, no bohi. Uh, everything is, is fitted in similar ways in terms of tightness, and they both feel pretty good. I'm going to set these down so I don't hurt myself. The point that I'm really trying to drive at is that they're pretty consistent. Now, I have to admit, I was a little bit surprised to see, one, that the smudge on the Ito was the same. But I have to admit, I was also kind of surprised at the consistency and quality, whether it be dynamically that the sword feels very similar, or, well, frankly, that they're pretty much the same in terms of casting quality. And I think this is really um, helpful from the standpoint of a reviewer, in the sense that I didn't have a lot of experience with Dragon King swords, and I reviewed one of them. And I'm always a little bit nervous when I have only one sample, right? I mean, you have these these manufacturers that make hundreds or thousands of swords and send them all over the place and they make them at different intervals or times and so the the chances that the object that i'm reviewing is representative of what you'll be getting is always something kind of at the back of my mind uh, where there's there's just a lot of variables to play with so uh, the fact that i have a second one also procured second hand but that it it kind of excels in the same avenues as the one i had and also fails in the same in the same veins as as the example I had before is, is I guess at least, um, if they're gonna fail, they're failing consistently. And that means that it's predictable in terms of what you're gonna get. So I feel a little bit better about the original review that I did, but anyway, those are my thoughts. If you have any, throw them in the commentary below. I also now have another example from Dragon King. This is the Winter Sun Katana. 
Uh, and so what you can see here is a lot of similarities between the spring sakura in terms of pros and cons. The suba, I think they do a great job in terms of the overall casting quality. Uh, I think it's I think it's unique and different and kind of cool looking. The fuchikashra appear the same as the spring sakura, and they kind of have the same issues where they're not quite even in the transitions. My finger doesn't really get bit right here, but it, it could. Um, it's a little bit better down here. The Yito is, is tight in the same way. There's a little bit of rattle in this one from the Saya. But everything else is, is really, the Suba doesn't, has the slightest wiggle, but nothing really substantial or what I would call overly dramatically bad. Uh, this is an Ishime Saya, and it's pretty clean and nice. Uh, it's sanded smooth, it's not ripply all over the place. The transitions between the horns seem well done, and it holds reasonably well. Not perfect, but acceptable. The blade is really the same thing as the spring sakura, except it's quite a bit longer. Uh, it's just a just a bigger bigger sword. Uh, probably why I like it a little bit more. Anyway, also it's a winter theme. It's where I live. It's winter ten months out of the year. This is the uh, winter sun katana. It's got little snowflakes on it. Snowflakes nowadays mean something different. So the sword a snowflake would wield. I don't know. Anyway. That's not really the point. Thematically, I kind of like it. Uh, and in terms of how it feels, the Spring Sakura feels quite a bit better. The extra inches on this blade, kind of simultaneously having a very similar blade profile to the Spring Sakura and the longer handle, uh, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really do the blade justice. But while I'm thinking out loud, I might as well hold these up. And you can see that there is a bit of length difference. But in terms of the blade profile, they're, they're pretty similar in terms of the sori and all of that type of stuff. But where I think this falters is really that it, it doesn't feel as good. It feels, I feel the weight in this a lot more. It feels like a completely different sword and it's much more cumbersome. I like the theme, but even though this is a bit more my size, I can't say that inherently right now I'm really digging on how it feels. But I haven't cut with it yet. We'll see how it does. It is more my size than the Spring Sakura. And uh, it's, you know, I'm a little snowflake, uh, unique and different and beautiful, or I'm not a unique and beautiful snowflake. I can't remember which, but uh, it is, it is more my style, I guess. So I'll, I'll take i I'll do a little bit of cutting with it and we'll see kind of how, how it moves around. But in my hand, I can't say as I hold this that I am, I'm really a fan of it at the moment. Uh, anyway, the general thoughts on Dragon King though are that this sword is, is pretty consistent in terms of the other two spring sakura swords that I have in terms of the Ito is pretty similar, the fit on the Fuchikasha is pretty similar, uh, in terms of it being tight is pretty similar, the Ito is of similar tightness, uh, the blade is also not super well finished, you know it's kind of meant to be a, a user piece with a little bedazzling, um, but overall you know it's still different, nice, refined, pretty cool, um, I'll do a, a maybe a better review on this if anyone actually wants to see it, the point is that the, the quality between these three models that I have now seems to be pretty consistent. They seem to do a pretty consistent job on the Ito in terms of the fitting out of the sword, in terms of the, the Habaki fit, in terms of the blade profile and the sharpness. Uh, I have to give some props there because very often it seems like quality sways one way or the other and one manufacturer might send out some swords that are really really great and some that are meh and have cracked the scars or loose this or that. Now both of these, or again all three of them are really second hand so they're not necessarily representative of what you would get from Dragon King but I do have to give a tip of my hat, my consistency hat if you will, uh, to the making a pretty consistent product. So if any of these things are, are kind of deal breakers for you there's a pretty strong likelihood I would say at this point that they're gonna be consistently deal breakers and you're not going to really want to chance your luck but if the reviews that you've seen or what I've talked about so far seems like something that you like uh, chances are you're gonna you're gonna get something pretty close to this uh, in terms of its quality in terms of its fit and finish and I, I don't know that there's as much variation as I've seen with other manufacturers though now this brings my total sample size of Dragon King Katana's up to three so it's not quite the same as the hundreds of Hanoi's that I've had but nevertheless I hope, I hope it's helped. Anyway, that's, that's all I have. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm sick. I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for watching and cheers or whatever the hell I say usually. Bye.